It's our weekly way of saying thank you to those who are fighting the coronavirus on the front line and the thousands of others who've worked to keep the country going. I feel happy when I see people clapping, but the government doesn't recognize us, so it makes me feel sad. We spoke to one NHS worker, a single mother from West Africa, who wants to remain anonymous. She has cleaned COVID wards in a big London hospital throughout the pandemic. I am cleaning toilet, the coronavirus patient rooms. I feel scared. I see people die every day. Michelle is on a low salary and now has an extra financial problem. Her visa is due to expire on Friday. She has to pay £2,000 to renew it. The government has said that for the next few months, it will automatically extend for a year the visas of some staff in the NHS and social care sector. They won't have to pay. But cleaners aren't on the list. I have to save life. If I stop, we'll go to do the job. Doctor can't do it. Everybody can be a doctor, everybody can be a nurse. Doctor, nurse, we are both work as a team. They should treat us, all of us equally. As part of a visa... Charities representing migrants believe there are many frontline workers who won't benefit from the new system. It overlooks tens or hundreds of thousands of people within the health system and outside in other key roles who just weeks ago this government was referring to as low-skilled, unskilled and unwelcome, but who've proven over the last few months that actually those roles, those people are the backbone of our society. Like the NHS, some employers in the social care sector rely on foreign labour. At this care home in Norfolk, and this is their filming, they've had a coronavirus outbreak. Many of the frontline staff here are from India and the Philippines. The owner of the home is sceptical when it comes to the visa extension scheme. It really is a question of we want to use you while this crisis is on and then once we're finished with you, you can go back home. In a statement, a government spokesperson said that right across the immigration system, it was working to support people, including in the NHS and social care sector. June Kelly, BBC News.